Hello everyone and welcome to Artha Point CUT MA English Preparation. Now today we will be discussing a very important topic that is literary devices. As promised, we would be discussing each literary device one by one. Uh, last time in the last session we discussed about allegory, right? Hope that is clear. Now today we will be taking up another very easy but also very important literary device that is alliteration. Now this is a very basic literary device, something that you must have heard of a lot of times, something that comes in handy on a daily basis also and something that was very prevalent from the beginning of that is from the beginning of Middle East English, right? So, alliteration has been there, alliterative verses have, have been there from a very long time. Now, so alliteration comes from a Latin word. That is alliterate. This word means letter. Right. So, alliteration comes from this particular word, alliterate, which means letter right now what is alliteration so alliteration is repetition of any letter now this letter has to be consonant so any consonant for more than three to four times ab isko agar hum asan language mein samjhe to alliteration of course, what are, what are consonants? So, any English letter except vowels, that is A, E, I, O, U. Now, let us take an example. Betty bought a butter. Right? So, B is our consonant. Hai. B is repeating thrice in this line. So, your three words are starting with the same consonant that is alliterate. We say in Hindi, like Chandu ke chacha ne Chandu ki chachi ko, right? So, that is again what, what it is. It is alliteration. That is an alliterative line. Right? So, in case <coughs> any, any line or any words start with vowels, it would not come under the category of alliteration. So, alliteration means consonants repeating thrice or four for four times in a particular line that is alliteration. Now, alliteration from alliteration comes alliterative words. Right? Now, what is alliterative words? Alliterative words is a particular poem a particular stanza that uses alliteration, right? Now, why was this or why is alliteration used? Because it makes anything, any line more musical, right? And it makes reading and reciting easy. Now, what happens happened was that during the Old English period, during the Middle English period, People were reciting more, right? So it was more word of a mouth translations that were happening. Therefore, alliterative made it more musical. Alliteration made it more easy to read and easy to recite. So it improved the memory of people so people could easily remember the lines, right? We also see use of alliteration in Shakespeare's work a lot. Uh, for example, in Macbeth, there's a line called fear and foul and foul, fair is foul and foul is fair. So this is a line from Macbeth. Fair is foul and foul is fair. Right. So this is what is alliteration. Now, alliteration was also very famous, as I've told you, in Anglo-Saxon poetry. And also in Anglima. So again, the old English. Right? So that is what is alliteration. 
with this we cover the second literary device if you have any question regarding this particular literary device you can write it down in the comment section below also if there's any particular literary device that you want me to cover first you can let me know because we would be covering that till then take care also if you need a full course on ma english preparation you can contact us at 8368663950 till then take care thank you and all the best